Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a keto shamrock shake with instant ice cream. So I'm gonna show you how to make ice cream without a tr uh, ice cream turner two different ways. And I'm gonna show you both a dairy and a non-dairy version, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so I was gonna make this little guy here, but instead we're gonna go with a bigger one. Now, you can actually make this with all heavy cream but I'm gonna do half and half. So this here is a half cup of heavy cream. So I'm doing a half cup of heavy cream and a half cup of almond milk. Okay, we're doing a, a tablespoon of vanilla flavor. If you have extract, then you would just use about a quarter teaspoon. And then we have our powdered sweetener. Okay, so this is just a basic vanilla, a basic vanilla ice cream. You don't need a turner. This is all you need is a mason jar. So I'm gonna show you with this. This is exactly how you'd make it. I know it seems kind of silly, but you're just gonna start to shake it. You're gonna shake it for at least five minutes. And what you're looking for is, you're looking for your um, liquid to double in size. So once it does, I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then you'll know it's done. So as you can see, it's thickened up in there. Looks almost like a whipped cream. That's what you're looking for. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is put it into the freezer for two to three hours and I'm gonna show you what it looks like once our ice cream's ready. Okay, so now we're gonna get started on our non-dairy. Here is a half cup of almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. And we're going to add our coconut cream. Okay, we added a tablespoon of coconut cream. We have our vanilla, which is vanilla flavor. And now we have our sweetener. No, one tablespoon, and now we're just gonna mix, just try to mix that together as best as we can. And I'm gonna show you how this is gonna turn into like a soft serve ice cream. Okay. We're gonna add the rest of our coconut cream, which is another tablespoon. Mix it all together. Okay, so now let's go ahead and seal our bag. Try to get all the air out as much as you can. And now, so here we have our ice, as you can tell. It's about like three cups of ice. And so I have, I got this at my local Walmart. It costs like $1.50. And we're just gonna throw in our ice cream salt. So you wanna do like you gonna do a good amount because the I, the salt is what makes um, your ice get super, super, super cold. And that's what is going to freeze your ice cream. Now let's go ahead and seal. And we're gonna shake for about eight to 10 minutes, okay? So you're gonna get a little workout. Okay, so this is what it should look like. I'm gonna show you. This is our non-dairy. So you can see that it is almost like a soft serve ice cream. It took about 10 minutes, but um, again, this is our non-dairy version. So this is all set, ready to go. Okay, so now we're gonna make our homemade whipped cream. I actually had this in the fridge because when your um, mixing bowl's really cold, it actually helps whip up your, your cream um, a lot quicker. So here we have half cup of heavy cream. Okay, and we have our vanilla flavor. And then we have our two tablespoons of sweetener. Let's get it all in there. And now let's go ahead and mix. And this is how simple it is to make a homemade whipped cream. Okay, so here's our piping bag. These bags are linked down below for you. Um, they are disposable. And then we have the one end M tip. I'm gonna drop it in there. And now we are just going to grab our whip and put it in there. Beautiful. Okay, so while we prepare everything else, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Okay, so we're just gonna use some uh, unsweetened almond milk. We're gonna do one cup. Okay, so now we're making our shake here. Boom, one cup, perfect. So now we're gonna add our peppermint extract. Okay, so we're gonna do, these are so potent, you just want two drops. One, two. I'm telling you, they are that strong. If you add too much, it's just gonna be so overpowering. So, you know, you've been warned. 
Okay, and now for our ice cream. OMG, look at how creamy this looks. Oh, okay. We have everything in here. Now let's go ahead and add our green. We're gonna add about two. One, two. And if we need more, then we can add a little more. Okay, so now if you want like that mouth feel of a shake, of a frappe, there is an ingredient that you can use, which is xanthan gum. And I will link this down below. Um, this is like a thickening binding agent. You can use this like for sauces, things like that. I use it when I'm making like little um, smoothies. You can use like an eighth of a teaspoon. So it's a very, very small amount, but it definitely helps give you that texture that you don't get with like keto drinks and smoothies, okay? So um, here I have a lot more, so I'm actually just, you're gonna do about, like I said, about an eighth of a teaspoon, okay? And now we go ahead and we mix. So. So now let's go ahead and pour our shamrock shake. Ooh, perfection. And now we're going to top it off with our homemade whip. Okay, so now we have our mint chocolate chips and we're actually just going to top it. These are actually so good, they're white chocolate. And, you know, just being a little extra here so it looks nice and fun, perfect. Okay guys, so here is our Keto Shamrock Shake. I went extra, decorated it with a little Chalk Zero chocolate um, syrup with our mint chocolate chips, homemade whipped cream, our fancy straw. I mean, you can't get any more St. patrick -y <laughs> than this shake. So let's go in for the taste test. Mmm. So I went a little light on the peppermint because I, again, you saw, I was telling you, you, if you add too much of it, it'll kind of ruin it. So I went a little light, but I personally, I'm fine with it. If you love mint, then you can add another one extra drop, maybe two, and then it'll be like super minty. But this is perfect. It turned out so great. You can totally make like two shakes out of this um, because they are super decadent. Remember, this is made with heavy cream. It does have almond milk, but there is a lot of cream in here. So this is definitely a treat. It's absolutely delicious. And if you've been craving a shake, then this is the recipe for you. And remember, if you don't like mint, just omit the mint and you'll have a vanilla shake that's delicious. And just add the green food coloring for the St. Patrick spirit. Okay guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this fun recipe. I love making ice cream. I love making it in an ice cream maker as well. So let me know if you guys wanna see more ice cream recipes. My favorite is butter pecan. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite ice cream is so that I can get on it. But this is a super fun recipe. You can make it with the kiddos or if you're a kid at heart and you wanna make a fun shake, then this is a recipe for you. You have to try it. Um, and of course, come back. Let me know what you thought. I love hearing your feedback and what you think of my recipes. Also. I made a regular heavy cream version. Let me know if you want me to make a non-dairy version with maybe coconut cream. Give me your suggestions down below because I'd be happy to film that so that there's a video on the channel for you guys. But guys, I can't wait for you to try this. I hope you enjoyed this video. You're gonna love this recipe and make sure that you are already subscribed to the channel and you have your post notifications turned on. I also have my Instagram and TikTok where you can follow me and these recipes are now on my website where they are printable. And I also have exclusive recipes that I don't have here on my YouTube video. So make sure you check that out at lowcarblove.com. Again, guys, thanks for being here with me. I love you so much and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.